Hello everyone, it's Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Welcome, welcome. I know I'm coming on a little bit earlier today, um, but I have so much to show you, I wanted to get it all in. So let me adjust my camera just a little bit because I'm seeing that. There we go. Let's kind of get the whole, the whole mat there and see all of this good stuff. So I know you may not be joining me live because I am early today. Um, but actually we have a little retirement um, event to go to for a friend. So I wanted to be sure I could get all of this in um, before I needed to start getting ready to go to that. So how are you all? I hope you're doing great and having a nice weekend. I got my pre-order on Thursday, so let's dive right in and start talking about these goodies that are coming up in the next annual catalog that will launch for customers on May the 2nd. Alrighty, first things first, let's talk about new in colors, why don't we? Okay, so the new in colors for 2023 2025 are going to be boho blue that's a gorgeous color and we we saw a little sneak peek of this um, during celebration for the mini machine the mini stamp and cut and boss machine um, if people joined stampin up during that time they had the option to add that onto their starter kit the next color is copper clay Oh, I can already tell you, I love, love, love this color. Next one is called Moody Mauve. And I have to laugh because there is a little town in Maine um, called Moody, Maine. And we drove through it one time. And um, my husband said, oh, let's just stop here a minute. And we were near the Moody Diner. And <laughs> He took my picture in front of it because, you know, I guess sometimes it must be moody. Anywho, next one is called Pebbled Path. I love this neutral as well. This is, this is pretty. And then the last one is called Wild Wheat. It's a little more green than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a stronger yellow color. But um, I think I'm going to just have to get used to it. I'm not sure about this one just yet. I love all the other ones. Um, this Moody Mauve kind of reminds me of, you know, the 1980s when um, everybody's bridesmaids were wearing mauve. Remember that? So, anywho, these are the new in colors for 2023 to 2025 so we'll have them for two years and they are going to be available in of course all of the ink pads okay so we have those plus they you will be able to buy Stampin' Blends in all of these colors as well alrighty so I have these in a little case here, plus of course card stock. And then let me show you, here are, let me get a little foam mat here to back these up. These are the embellishments. They are called in color dots. They are really pretty. I mean, <clears throat> the picture I saw online did not really do it justice. They are, of course, domed because they're a dot, and they have adhesive already on the back of it. So we'll just pull them off and be able to stick them right on our project. But they are shinier than I anticipated. They're not sparkly. I know you're getting a reflection from one of my lights. They're not um, faceted or sparkly like that. It's just a simple dome, but they're quite lovely. I, I'm impressed with these. I was not sure if I was going to like them or not, but now that I see them in person, I love them. Plus another great thing, when our embellishments used to be 
packaged, they would be attached with a little dab of um, some sort of sticky, sticky adhesive, which sometimes made pulling these off a little difficult. <gasps> Look at this, they're no longer attached. I love it. Makes it so much easier. So those are the 2023 2025 in color dots. I love those as well. Alrighty, and then there's all the card stock. And this little sample, I just wanted to show you, I stamped with this stamp pad, okay? So this shows you what the colors look like once they're stamped. So I want it to do like a solid image and then a line image, so I chose the words, happy birthday. And then over here, this is a sample of the blends. So this left side is the light stamp and blend. And then the right side is the dark stamp and blend. Because of course, when you buy our stamp and blends, let's pull one of these out of my case here. Let's just pull out copper clay. So you will get a dark copper clay and a light copper clay. And you can see the slight difference in the lids as well. But I always double check um, the barrel to make sure I am coloring with the right one because I would be lying if I ever said that I didn't mix up the lids sometimes. So, you know, there's that. Alrighty, another in color product coming is this gorgeous ribbon. Okay, available in all of the in colors. And I took the cellophane off of this one, the copper clay. Are you starting to see like a little bit of a, a theme here? I really like this color. So let me show you how easy it is to make a bow. This has a really nice drape to it. So it is really going to be easy to make bows. It's a little bit thicker. So, um, yeah, so how wide is this? Is this three eighths? Yeah, three eighths of an inch. So that line right between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch. But yes, that makes a nice, beautiful bow. Let's cut that off the spool and trim off that little raggedy edge there. And that is just beautiful. Love, love, love. It's going to make nice bows um, that are really probably going to stay. I mean, I can't see there is a little bit of a texture to this ribbon, so it's not slippery like the bow is not going to come untied um, by itself. So sometimes that happens with satin types of ribbon. Alrighty. So those are our new in colors. Let me move these items in my bin next to me because now we're going to talk about the new colors coming to our color family. So hang on one quick second. Let me move these over here out of our way because I have a lot to show you. I'm so excited by all of these new products. Cannot wait to start playing with these. Alrighty. So the new colors coming to fill out our color collection. Um, for the Regals, we are re the returning colors are Pretty Peacock right here. Love it, love it. And my favorite, Blueberry Bushel. This is a true blue. I love, love, love this color. These were in colors in previous years and they are coming back to join our color family full time. So I'm so excited about that. So that's what's gonna finish out the Regals. Okay. Here is a brand new, brand new color. It is called Bubble Bath. It is a true pink. It is, oh, hey Liz, how are you? It is going to be perfect. I'm trying not to get a glare from the light here. Let's move this over here a little bit so you can see. 
it is like a true almost bubblegum pink is what I would call it. Whoa, that's not working, Nancy. There we go. <laughs> so it is, it's called Bubble Bath. I will probably call it bubble gum all the time by mistake. So just, you know, call me out on that. But it is bubble bath. Nice, nice pink. Okay. Um, another new color coming to Subtles is Lemon Lolly. A really nice, bright, happy yellow. It's, um, it's it well, it's in the Subtles. And I was just going to say, it's subtle. It's really nice. I do, I really like the Lemon Lolly. And then two returning favorites to finish out the subtles, Fresh Freesia. So this is why Fresh Freesia is not retiring this year. Fresh Freesia was an in color due to retire, but it was so popular that it's being added to our color family for the subtles. And Lost Lagoon. Who remembers Lost Lagoon? This is a nice, nice greenish color, okay? So we have our Regals new additions, our Subtles new additions. Let's look at our neutrals next. Pecan Pie. Oh my, look at that nice neutral. I'm a neutral kind of girl. I love using these shades. All right, so Pecan Pie is brand new. And then who here remembers Misty Moonlight? Oh, this was one of my faves too. So Misty Moonlight is returning as a member of our normal colors here. So this, this will join our neutrals um, family. Alrighty. Okay, brand, brand new color, Azure Afternoon. So this is a nice, happy, bright blue. I love it. There are a lot of blues in our color collection now. And wait till I show you some designer series paper that we have. Oh my goodness. I think it might be my favorite right now. So Azure Afternoon is a brand new color joining and it's joining our Brights collection. And then two returning favorites, Lemon Lime Twist. That, will, that was an in color, and it's coming back to join our Brights family. And Berry Burst is back in the Brights. Try saying that eight times fast, right? Okay, so these are the new additions coming into um, our color families. Okay, so two new additions to the Regals line four new additions to subtles, two to neutrals, and three to the brights. Alrighty, now that I've teased you with some designer series paper talk, let's talk about that real quick. Why don't we? Alrighty, let me put this over to the side. And I want to show you this first pack. It's called Bright and Beautiful. It is a six by six stack of designer series paper and it features all new colors. Okay, so Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubblegum, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pretty Peacock. Alrighty, all brand new colors and this stack is pretty amazing. So I sort of sorted it by, by the color. So here's some Lemon Lolly. And this is the reverse side. Oh, this is, I think, one of my favorites. I love these bright colors. So you have Lemon Lolly on the reverse side of this in a star pattern. Love that. And then on the reverse side is this bright stripe with all of the colors. Okay, here's Lemon Lolly again. These look like um, painted stripes, actually. So I like that it's not, you know, perfect stripes. It looks like it's just hand painted. And then on the reverse side of that, I love these overlapping circles. Kind of looks like the bokeh technique, right? Okay, there's that one. Here is a Lemon Lolly. This looks like a watercolor wash 
Love that. Love the variation in the color there. And then the reverse side of that is this nice little pattern with these little dashes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so excited. I'm like getting all worked up here. Alrighty, here is our, let me see. This is, this would be our blueberry bushel. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. You know what? This is, this is the Azure afternoon. See, it's a new color. I'm forgetting it already. This would be Azure afternoon watercolor wash once again. And then look at this fun, fun pattern. I love this little confetti and I love that it's a color gradient as well. Okay, we're starting up here with Azure Afternoon and we're ending down here with like Berry Burst. Love that. Alrighty, where are my pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon fans? Here's a nice little stripe here. Pretty Peacock, Lost Lagoon. And on the back side of this, these cute little circles, they are adorable. And there's this line, let me hold it up close, line running right through. So you could really cut this right along that space and they would look like little green, I'm sorry, lemon lime twist, <laughs> um, rainbows, little arches, so cute. Alrighty, here's our Lost Lagoon. Love, love, love this. Love this color gradient. And then look how fun these scallops are. Oh my goodness. They are just amazing. Here is our, this would be, let me look, let me look, let me look. Would this be our blueberry bushel? No, this is Misty Moonlight. This would be Misty Moonlight. This is blueberry bushel. See, I have to keep the, um, keep the, the pack of paper over here. It's my little cheat sheet to check on my colors. And then look at these stars. Love, love, love this. Love it. Alrighty. And then here's our blueberry bushel. I was so excited about the blueberry bushel. Just kept talking about it. And then on the reverse side of that, how much fun is this star? Oh no. <laughs> you have a paper problem too, Liz? I know. I know, I can't tell you how much paper I have. It's a problem. We need a 12 step program. Okay, and here is our bubble bath gradient there. And then look at that, little bubble bath circles and fresh freesia circles. I love that. This would make a really cute little girl card or baby girl card. Just love that. Alrighty, here's Fresh Freesia, watercolor wash again, and then the patterns over here. Love, love, love this. We're getting gradients of all of the colors here mixed together. And then last, nope, not yet. Then Berry Burst. We have a little color gradient there of Berry Burst. This actually, if we look at it this way, this reminds me of a landscape, like in the desert. You know, love that. And then here's a nice little stripe here. And last one, another berry burst, I'm pretty sure. Nice watercolor wash. And then, oh, look at those stripes. You know, I love myself a good diagonal stripe. Because when you take it, just a little, little um, cut of it, oh my word, love it. Okay, so that is called Bright and Beautiful. That paper actually coordinates with, let me show you this bundle real quickly. It's called Beautiful Balloons. You can tell how happy and fun this bundle is. And if you buy the suite, it um, includes this designer series paper as well. So this is a fun little balloon bundle here. That's what I use for the little um, cheat sheet for our, um, our in color paper. And it is a photopolymer stamp. So you can see I've already taken them off of the um, 
acetate sheets and stuck them down and I've already used that one and that one. Can't wait for this. This is going to be so much fun. And then the dies, let me show you the dies. Now reminder, they do not come on this um, magnetic sheet. I transfer them onto a magnetic sheet. And let me hold this up so you can see this one die right here. Looks kind of like railroad tracks, right? Alrighty, so that is going to cut little slits into the paper and it can make fringe. Oh my word, loving, loving, loving that. Haven't played with it yet, so I need to play with it and make all the mistakes and then I'll come back and report back on what not to do for you. But love this happy little set with the balloons, solid balloon, solid star, solid large star. This is a great little tag here. I'm just, I love this. And look, here is a little detail confetti die. You can run this through all the different colors, make all these little teeny tiny pieces, and have a shaker card, okay? You can use the, sh the, the pieces you're gonna punch out as shaker card pieces, and the negative space that's left, you can put a different color behind it or one of these designer series papers behind it with multiple colors and you will be able to see the colors through the holes that you create with this little die right here and you will have different color confetti. Have not played with it yet. It's just up in the brain and I'm hoping it translates once it goes out onto the hands. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> but I'm thinking it should. So this pack of bright and beautiful paper coordinates with the beautiful balloons um, bundle and that will be available to customers starting May the 2nd in the new annual catalog. Alrighty, let me put these two away. Let's move on to the daisies here. That's next up in my stack. Now, I did not pre-purchase the bundle that went with this. I just got the paper because I really wanted to check it out first. Now that's not saying I won't place another demonstrator pre-order and get the daisies, but I'm just saying in my first box, it was not in there. So this is called Fresh as a Daisy. It is a 12 by 12 pack of designer series paper and it uses um, Azure Afternoon, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Pebbled Path, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. All right, let me show you these patterns here. Now, this first pattern is a little unusual, but when you look at it closely, it is pretty easy to cut these into individual pieces that you can then use for card fronts, okay? We're gonna do that in just a second. Let's go through the whole pack first and then we're gonna bring this piece back up and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut right along those lines in between these patterns. So here's the first one. And then the reverse side of that is, this looks like an oil paint moody mauve, okay? This is not um, so much a watercolor wash idea. This to me looks like an oil paint because you can really see the brush strokes in it, okay? So that's the reverse of that one. Whoa, look at this one. This is a happy little garden right here. This reminds me a little bit of um, 1970s wallpaper. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, the jury's out on, on this for me. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> and then on the reverse side of that, 
there is another, this is Pebbled Path, there is another, um, looks like an oil paint wash. Okay, here is the third pattern, and you get two sheets of each of these. Here is the third pattern of these daisies, bright and bold. And then on the back side here, this looks like, hang on, I need to check my, my cheat sheet here. This looks like it would be a little garden green, maybe, and some pretty peacock over top the blue the blue green must be pretty peacock so you can see the um like the illusion of the brush strokes on that here is our moody mauve daisies and the leaves are the wild wheat and then the back side of this is wild wheat okay and again looks like an oil paint I do love this one. This one is would make a great scrapbook page too because of this space up here. You could have some titling or journaling or photos, but I do I do enjoy this piece, especially for scrapbooking. And then the reverse side of that is going to be your copper clay and Cajun craze combo. That's a lot to say too, isn't it? All right, and then the last one, I don't mind this one as much. This one is a little more subtle. The little teeny tiny daisies and the little teeny tiny buttercups. So those are, whoops, those are cute. And then the back side of that, I love the blue. I love the blue wash. Okay, all right, let's bring that first piece back in here. And I want to show you how, whoops, where did it go? Here we go, Hot Mess Express, here it is, okay? So, we do need our paper trimmer for this. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is going to be to cut up to make little elements for the front of cards, or in this case, you know, the whole front of the card in these three cases. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut right along this straight line because this is straight from all the way at the top to the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna put this in our paper trimmer, slide it over to four, because it is definitely a third of the sheet of the 12 by 12. Okay, so we have that at four. We're gonna just do that whole slice right there. Okay, so within this piece, now we're going to slide this over to four because this is a four by four square here. And if we go a little bit, hang on, I'm gonna put that right there. It's actually a little, little skosh before four. There we go, okay? So now we have that piece right there. Now our next piece we're just gonna slide over. I am assuming this is, okay, this is like a two and a half. I'm just like looking at where this line is in relation to my cutting track, okay? So, oops, let me slide that over again. So that's like at about two and a half. So we have that piece now, and then this piece remains. Alrighty. So oh, we have those three pieces already. Now, let's look for the next solid line. We're gonna have to turn our paper, and now we're going to go from this top to the bottom here, all righty? So with this daisy pattern, I'm gonna just flip it upside down. And this line goes in at about Ooh, it's not a quarter. It's kind of between three and three quarters. Just maybe a skosh over. Alrighty. And now we're going to just cut, take this piece that we cut off, 
and cut once again. This looks like two and three quarters right here. Okay, so now we have this piece and this piece right here. Alrighty, so two more pieces. Now let's look at this again. We're gonna look for the line that goes all the way through and here it is right here. Okay, you can see how this line doesn't go through, this line doesn't go through, but this one sure does. So now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna look to line up the, this line made by the designs and it's basically right around at four. Okay, and then this is gonna leave us this piece, love this one, reminds me of the beach. Beautiful beachy day. And then this is gonna be right there around three. And then these two little guys are about two and an eighth. Okay. So we're gonna have these two little dudes. <laughs> Alrighty, put those in the stack. Love this, this does remind me of the beach here. And then the last thing we need to cut is just right here. We're just gonna cut right between these two patterns. And this looks like it's right around at three over here to my left hand side. Okay, so when all is said and done, let me move the, the paper trimmer out of the way. From that one sheet, we are going to have all of these separate little pieces here to play with, to make card fronts or whatever we want, okay? So that is kind of a cool idea. What do you think of that? I think that's a pretty cool idea. So love, love, love this. Hey Maria, how are you? I'm gonna get you those measurements right after this is over. I'll message you those measurements. So, um, Yes, yes, so that's kind of a cool idea. When you start off with the piece, let me pull out my second piece of this. So you get two of these in your pack. When you start off with your piece that looks like this, and you're kind of like, what in the world is that? And you cut it all up, it starts to make a little sense. So that is the, 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 the yeah, <laughs> the, 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 let me, see this again. This is the Fresh as a Daisy um, Designer Series Paper Pack. Again, I have not purchased the stamp set or the dies just yet, so I'm going to play with the paper first and um, see how it goes. Alrighty, let me tuck these back in this paper pack here so I don't get things mixed up. Look at me trying to be organized. Who are you, Nancy? This is not like you at all. Usually you're just like, throw it over there. Alrighty. So that is our second pack of paper that we've looked at. Alrighty, let's look at this fun one. Oh my word. I know my animal loving folks are gonna love this. Peggy, where are you? Um, okay, so this is called Zoo Crew. Love it, love it. Colors in this pack are basic black, crumb cake, lemon lime twist, lemon lolly, petal pink, pool party, and pumpkin pie. Oh my word. These animals are so stinking cute. We have a fox riding a Vespa, too cute. Um, an alligator or a crocodile, I guess. I don't know, I'd have to look at his jaw. I guess he could be either way. <laughs> I think he's an alligator riding a bike, a bunny riding a scooter, an aardvark on a unicycle. Oh my gosh, I just was laughing so hard when I looked at this paper. So there is the first side of that. Again, this is a 12 by 12 piece of paper nice black and white patterns on the reverse side of this stack, okay? So let's look at the next one. Oh my goodness, an armadillo with a present. You know me, this would be my favorite, the puppy. 
with the confetti. We have a raccoon here with balloons, an elephant, and a koala juggling cupcakes. Oh my goodness, so stinking cute. Alrighty, let's reverse side this. And then we have little circles here with stars in them. Love that pattern. All right, a sloth doing yoga. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was just cracking myself up. Okay, a hedgehog painting, a bear sitting in an easy chair reading. I'm thinking this is a um, this is an alpaca or a llama knitting, and then we have the billy goat baking. Oh my gosh, this just cracks me up. So cute, so cute. And on the reverse side of this is another nice black and white, just a neutral. And of course, you could always. Um, sponge color over top of this if you wanted the white to be a different color. All right, here we go again. This is the musical sheet. I'm trying not to laugh. I'm trying to be professional, but this is just so stinking cute. So we have the turtle with the microphone. He looks like he's singing karaoke. We have the bear with the accordion. We have a beaver on bongos. Oh my gosh. Oh, Peggy, you're here. Oh, good. I just looked out at the comments. I am laughing myself silly as I look at this paper. We have a frog playing a fruit, flute, and then we have a warthog playing a guitar. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, this is just so cute. All right, on the reverse side of that is a white background with some black polka dots. Okay, next one, we are looking at the dancing animals. So we have a little sheep doing ballet. And she's doing, what is that little jumpy thing called? I don't know, I didn't take ballet. And then we have this, I guess this is a... um. Um, supposed to be a leopard because it has spots doing a pirouette. Look at the hippo. <laughs> My husband just got home from golf. He's probably going to look at me like I'm losing it. The hippo. Oh my gosh. And then we have a deer also doing ballet. I have to look up what, what these things are. Oh my gosh, I just saw the little cat. Or no, that's not a cat. What is that? Peggy, help me out. Help me out. Looks like, um, I don't know. What is that? A mink? Like a white mink? I don't know. Let me look at the comments. A <laughs> oh, Pam, I know. Isn't this funny? Oh my gosh. I have been laughing at this so much. I have to figure out what this, what this animal is right here. But she's, she's dancing as well. Okay. Oh my. And then on the back side of that, we have a nice pattern. I have to try to regain myself. All right, here's <laughs> This is the great outdoors animals. We have a lion roasting a marshmallow over the open fire. We have a pig hiking. He even has a little walking stick there. We have a skunk bird watching with binoculars and the birds right on his head. Oh my goodness. Okay, up here, it looks like we have a beaver catching butterflies. And then, who else? Who did I miss? Oh, I missed this guy. This guy has a striped tail. Um, I don't know. That doesn't look like a raccoon to me, but maybe it's supposed to be a raccoon taking photos. Oh my word, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I do know. Oh, a muscat, oh okay, thank you Peggy. I mean Pam, because I couldn't figure out who, what that was. I don't, I don't live in the country, <laughs> I didn't, didn't see that. Alrighty, and then on the reverse side of that are some little flowers, oh my word. Okay, so if this paper isn't cute enough, the first thing on my list was Zany Zoo. So, 
this is a bundle if you buy the whole suite it comes with this designer series paper plus let me grab the ribbon pack plus the bundle so the stamps and the dies plus the ribbon okay and the ribbon is two spools in here and it is petal pink okay so let's snip that let's snip that acetate off of there so we can really see the ribbon the petal pink it looks like it's like a grow grain ribbon and it kind of let me lift it up i'm not sure if you're gonna see it without the light it's sort of um let's focus here let's see if it finally will focus i don't know it has like uh, it's the focus is gonna it's going wackadoodle um it looks like white stripes in the grow grain and the petal pink so cute and then here is our lemon lime twist and this is a nice thin ribbon and this has little white um, stitches in it as well so these two number one you can layer them like this because of the differences in their width but oh my word this is just so adorable oh i've been laughing so hard at this paper so let me put these back in their bag here i need to get my little my little pins so that they don't unwind but i'm just going to put these right back in the bag so you can purchase this entire suite and get the ribbon and the cute designer series paper and the stamps and the dies beginning may the second okay so this is a cling mount stamp so this is actually i can't believe i haven't played with this yet um this is going to be one of our red rubber stamps okay and then you can choose to put the stickers on if you like i always do because i need to figure out what i'm stamping and then let's go over let's pull out these dies as well so i can show you the dies that coordinate with the stamps okay all righty so let's let me i'm trying to figure out the best way to do this not to get glare but all right so we can die cut the llama knitting all right let me close this all the way we can die cut the alligator riding the bike all righty here is the leopard in her tutu doing her little pirouette oh my gosh the turtle with the microphone okay the raccoon with the balloons oh i'm, I'm seeing a, um, a a trend here the skunk with the binoculars okay and then there's extra dyes in here as well let me show you there's a little um, pine tree for your outdoors animals okay here are like three little flowers that you can die cut all at one time here's a large flower here's a cloud this is cool beans people this two balloons okay oh and we have a small flower as well we have oh there's another tree see i had to like kind of stagger these so let's line these up there's a big tree and a little tree i'm trying to figure out what this is this might be hmm i don't know is this like a bottle i don't know what that is here's a little stool okay and a banner greeting that will fit these guys in there not so much that's something great to celebrate you but the you're too wonderful or the happy birthday to you look at this nice scallop that coordinates with that scallop in the designer series paper and look at this a stage curtain for the ballerinas and then this one right here this is to die cut some little um tie backs for the stage curtain okay oh my word now any of these images 
um, that are in the paper can also be die cut. So you can see with the dancing, we can die cut the leopard in the tutu. Alrighty, so that's pretty cool. And then let's look at these again. Let's find out. Oh, I hope I don't start laughing again. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Okay, so the turtle with the microphone. There we go, we have that die for that one. I don't think we have any dies for this particular one, but I do like the way they've designed them with white space over, oh yes we do, here we go. We have our llama knitting. All right, so she's right there, but I love the white space around them because we can just cut them out into shapes or fussy cut them. They're, they're not gonna be that hard to fussy cut. All right, let's see who's in here. Anybody? No, don't see a die for this one. But of course, here is our alligator riding the bike. And anybody else? No, no, okay, so he's over there. Oh my word. Okay, don't we have, let's see, we still need a, we still need to find the, okay, here's the skunk bird watching. And then let me see where the, the uh, raccoon with the balloons was, probably the birthday looking one. Oh, here he is, here he is. So yeah, so on this one, it's the raccoon with the balloons, okay. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So that is Zany Zoo. That is one of my faves. I have to tell you, this is just going to be so much fun creating with this bundle. So let me put this away real quickly. I'll put these back on the magnetic sheet the right way in a short time. Okay. Whew. I have to get myself together now, so I'm not being silly. Oh my word, that is just so stinking cute. Okay, let me slide these in. So I try to keep myself organized. <laughs> All right, the next thing that I want to show you, whoops, I'm gonna have to transfer these into my little folders, is um, just the designer series paper. I just got the paper for this one. I did not buy the bundle yet. Let me move this ribbon over. Okay. Oh my goodness. Who loves blues? I love blues. Okay. So this paper is called Countryside Inn. And the colors in this paper are Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Misty Moonlight, and Night of Navy. And I'm just going to tell you, whoever... Like I have some of that Polish pat pottery in blues. I just love, I love, I love blues. It's just clean and simple for me. Alrighty. So this paper has called my name. So here is one pattern. Again, you can see this is a 12 by 12 um, pack of paper and you get two of each of these. So here we're gonna look at the pattern side and then flip it over and look at the plain, you know, the, the more subtle side. So there is this pattern right here. Okay, nice and subtle. Alrighty. Then next is this one. Look at these cute little bunnies here. Oh my word, you could use these for Easter cards. And don't worry, I know Easter is coming up tomorrow, but this pack of paper is gonna be in the annual catalog for an entire year, beginning May 2nd. So you can make your Easter cards for next year using that cute little bunny page. And then on the back side of that, this reminds me a little bit of wallpaper, not gonna lie. Okay, so there's that one. Then this next one has little birds in it. So I don't think they're owls or anything. I don't know, ladies, I'm, I'm wearing new glasses today and they're progressives and I'm trying to get used to them. So it's a good thing you don't see my head bobbing up and down because 
I'm trying to look. I, I don't think, no, they're not owls. They're just birds. And then the reverse side of this is a nice tone on tone stripe. Okay, this looks like Misty Moonlight and Boho Blue to me. Alrighty. And then this one, this is kind of a funky print. I like this. And then the reverse side of this is a nice little stripe here. But look at the detail in the stripes. Every so often there is a stripe that has some polka dots. I love that idea. And then here are some cute little fox. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So loving this, loving this paper. And then the reverse side is just some little teeny tiny flowers and sort of like a diamond type subtle print with um, little dots. Okay, there we are. And then the last one, it looks like trees and flowers. Love this one as well. And then the reverse side, teeny tiny little rows of flowers, reminds me of um, the pattern of wallpaper in our house, in our bathroom when we first bought our house. It was like little peach um, tulips on a row. They're long gone, but anyway. So again, this is called Countryside in Designer Series Paper. There is a stamp and die bundle that coordinates with this. Um, I just didn't get it yet. And there's also an embossing folder that I forgot to get. I meant to get that and I forgot. So there is that one. All right, so that is all of the paper. I wanted to show you though, two more bundle, no, four more bundles. <laughs> four more bundles, two dies, two punches. Okay. So this is a really cute, cute bundle here. It's called Crafting With You. I love it because it can apply to all kinds of different crafters, whether you're a paper crafter or not, okay? So look at that. There's a little image of our stamp and cut and boss machine. Here's a sewing machine, a basket that can hold either art tools like paint brushes and, um, exacto cutting blades or it can hold yarn and knitting needles love that there's also a separate flower this flower is not part of let me show you the flower is right here it is not part of the easel so you can see that separate and again you can see by me holding this up this is a photopolymer set um, and then there's a small flower and a teeny tiny like little watercolor looking heart and I love the greetings here as well. Life is better when you're crafting with love, sending you a handmade hug and you inspire me. Let's look at the dies that coordinate with this set. Now the images on the front here are shown at 90%. So I'm gonna just get out, I'm gonna just open this one up because now they're full size, okay? So let me show you the dies that come with this. We have a die to cut out our easel and our art right there. You can put anything inside of that space. We have this die that will cut out this basket. And again, I apologize for the glare of the lights, but that's just how it rolls. Now our sewing machine is right here. It looks like it's upside down right now. And then our stamp and cut and emboss machine is right here, okay, up at the top. All right, we have a die for the yarn and the knitting needles right there, including that little piece of yarn hanging off the edge. And the little flowers here, let's see, let me, spin this around till it's accurate. There we go. And then we have the little teeny tiny flower right there. Okay, so we have those. Who else do we need? I think that's, oh no, no, no. We have the little heart. This little teeny tiny little heart right there. Okay, that can get cut out with a die. Oh, and the 
the art supplies, and the brushes and an X-Acto blade. Alrighty. So those are the dies that cut out the images, but I want to show you all of these extra dies that you get in this pack as well. Okay, so right here at the top, we're just gonna slide these over. Here's a square button and a circle button. This is one die, so you can cut both buttons at the same time. Here is a little star and flower. Again, one die, easy to cut both at the same time. Here is one die with two different hearts, one tall and skinny, and one just sort of like a regular heart, heart shape. Oh, Pam, you just sent your order in. Yeah, I know, this set is so stinking cute, isn't it? Alrighty, down here, these, you get two of these. These are spools, like spools of ribbon or spools of thread. And then you also get two of these. So you would first die cut these spools, and then you can die cut these two dies right here and attach this die cut to the top and it's gonna look like a spool of ribbon or a spool of thread. Isn't that just so stinking cute? Alrighty, here is a pair of scissors. So you are going to cut out this one die and then you'll make your scissors by putting this piece, um, actually this piece right on top of this piece because you'll want to see that little teeny circle there, like where that little screw would be. Here is a ruler, yardstick, what, whatever, a measuring stick of some sort. Here is an embroidery hoop, love that. Plus it has stitching around this circle on the inside. So that is gonna be so cute right there. Here is another basket. And then this one just cracks me up. This is a die of our paper trimmer. <laughs> So adorable. Plus, and I haven't played with it yet, but this has a slit that will be cut into it. So we will be able, and this slit here, and this slit here, so we will be able to actually put a little piece of different color paper, cardstock, or different designer series paper in there. And then this little guy is our cutting blade and we can put him right on top of there. Oh my word, I just think that is so stinking cute. Alrighty, so I am just going to put these in willy-nilly just to put them away and make sure that they're all in here. Oops, if my fingers will work. Okay, so we need sewing machine. Stamp and cut and emboss, and then the easel as the last one, and I'll make that look a little prettier later. Okay, so that is like a standalone bundle. There is not um, a designer series paper that coordinates with this directly, but I'm going to tell you what I'm probably going to use is that paper that I showed you at first. Let's bring that back in. This one with all the bright colors and the patterns, I think that'll be really, really pretty. Okay, so that is another bundle. All right, let's finish up with the last die bundle. This is called Timeless Arrangements. And I just thought this was a really cool idea. Okay, I like that there are so many greetings um, and you can use it for different occasions. I like these little flowers here. I love this little berry sprig um, right here. Let me show you, this is a photopolymer, and I have a little stunt doubles here, a photopolymer stamp set, okay? And then I wanna show you the dies as well, and I wanna show you how they work. Alrighty, so here are all of the dies. Lots and lots of dies. You do get 
three stitched rectangles, okay? So these do have stitching around them and in the center of each of the sides, it has like a little X. So it, it really does look like stitching. It is so, 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 so cute. I will have to take close up pictures of these later, okay? And then we have dies, all right, the images on the front there are also smaller. We do have dies, so we're gonna use this one, that go, that will cut out these floral images. Okay, I'm gonna try to just lay these gingerly in here. Where's the other one? This one right here. Okay, so those three dies will cut out those stamped images. Alrighty, let me put these back in here. Alrighty, then we have just some regular old little dies. Oh, I forgot. There's the, um, hang on, hang on, cold please. I forgot these little berry sprigs will also be cut out. So you can stamp those as well and cut those out with those dies. So all five of these images here can be stamped and die cut. Then we have a little leaf sprig and two little like floral sprigs. This one you could even, because you can see, this kind of looks like a three leaf clover. So we could do this for St. Patrick's Day for next year. Alrighty. Now I wanted to, oh, and then here is another little berry sprig. Okay, so all four of those kinds of ideas there. And then I want to pull out these dies real quickly and just show you what you can do with these. This is just the coolest idea ever. I'm so excited by this and can't wait to play with it. Alrighty, so these dies, as you can see, are going to cut out like a sprig and a bar, okay? So I did a couple of these ahead of time. So this die right here cuts this out, alrighty? And then we have the leaf. So this die will cut this out right here. Let me set that down. And then this one that kind of could look like three leaf clovers, cut that one out. Alrighty, so I'm putting the dies um, face down, the cutting side down so you can see the die and then see what it cut out, okay? All right, so cool beans, right? All right, let me move all the dies out of the way and just tuck them right in here so I don't lose anything. Now, the beauty of this, you're thinking, what in the world am I gonna do with that? Okay, the beauty of this is you can take any of these rectangles that you have die cut and stamped your little greeting on, because look at all these little greetings in here that will fit in one of these three rectangles. And then what you would do is tuck this behind the rectangle. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So you could have like two of these, one at the bottom right and one at the upper left. You can mix and match these because the floral images are all staggered. Okay, so you can cut these out of all different colors and move them around wherever you like them. And you can have all of these. <gasps> can you see that? I mean, that's just like spitballing, okay? With just the white. Isn't that the best idea ever? I love this. I know, Pam, they are so cool, aren't they? I was intrigued when I saw this, cause I'm like, Wow, that is really a great idea. So 
I only cut one of each of the patterns, but I'm thinking as I use these practically, I would probably cut two. So I would do this one on this side, and then I would have a second one to go down there so that I have balance and symmetry, okay? Because, you know, I'm all about that. So, alrighty, so that, this is called Timeless Arrangements. I just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of how that works because it's something brand new um, that we've never tried before and we've never had before. So I'm excited to, to kind of play with that and see the different combinations. Alrighty, and there is not a specific um, designer series paper that goes with that. Alrighty, two more little bundles here. Two punch bundles this time. Yippee, I love a good punch bundle. I love punching, sometimes it's so much easier. So this bundle is called Circle Sayings, and part of the bundle is the two and three eighths inch circle punch and then you get all of these elements that you can design within the two and three eighths inch circle punch okay so this is a photopolymer set i did do a few little playing examples here want to show you those so here is one of them let me start with this one first okay so this is this floral arch in boho blue, and then the word thank you in Knight of Navy. And look how nicely that is gonna coordinate with this yummy paper, okay? So that was my idea with that, is do those same colors and tie that in with the Countryside Inn paper. Okay, so that's one idea. What I like about this image right here, let me pull the stamp out. Oops, that's the seashells. Here are the flowers. So let's grab, let's grab my napkin. Something dark. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see but you can see on this side, we have the leaf side that's open, and then this side has a flower. So what that allows you to do is to stamp, let's see how I have this stamped. There we go. Okay, so we could, nope. Oh, now I have to figure out how I did this, okay. Yes, like that. So you can stamp one arch there and then stamp the second arch there to make the circle. How amazing is that? Oh my gosh. I was just like, oh my goodness. Love, love, love that idea. So that's, you can either do the arch or you can do two of them and make a complete circle around there. Um, alrighty, that was just another circle. <laughs> so I did the same thing again, but I used the seashells. So they also nicely stamped. So you could do one arch there and then the other arch over on this side and then put the thank you right in the middle. So for this one, I did the um, seashells in Night of Navy, and then I stamped the thank you in the center um, with the boho blue. Now I do suggest you stamp the outer arches first, and then put your greeting in, because there is kind of an irregular space that is left there and you just wanna kind of look through your photopolymer stamps and figure out which, which way to stamp it. Now, this image right here, love this with the sunshine and the ocean. 
So I decided let's use some new um, Stampin' Rate marker. No, no, no. Stampin' Blends. Stampin' Blends. Let's use some new Stampin' Blends to color um, this in. So this is Lemon Lolly for our sunshine. And then, what was my other color? Was it Azure Afternoon for the ocean, for the water? So I did the dark um, over top of the black lines of the image there. And then the light blended everything in. And then for, you know, the little surf there, I just added, and you probably can't see it, I just added a little, little bit of Wink of Stella, just for a little glitter, <laughs> just for a little look, look there, and did that little circle there as well. Okay, so this is called Circle Sayings. It is a new bundle, a new punch bundle, which is absolutely amazing because you can take a stamp and a punch almost anywhere and still be crafting, okay? You can be at the field, you can, <laughs> you can punch a whole bunch of circles all at once and then stamp them later. Alrighty, last bundle to show you is Little Monkey, again, with our cutesy little animals. I'm sure Peggy will love this one as well, if she's still here. Alrighty, Little Monkey, and it comes with, it's already dusty, the Monkey Builder Punch, okay? So, you can punch out this little guy right here, alrighty? This part of the punch right here is his face, if you want to um, just do a separate face here on a different color so you can have that little face. There is the banana, okay? You can have this banana right here. And then I think, I'm not sure what these two little things are, if they're supposed to be like his eyes? Maybe his eyes. Maybe that's what it is, his eyeballs. I don't know, but nice, cute little punch. I haven't played with this one yet. This is a photopolymer stamp set as well. So you can see right through it as you're building your little scenes with your monkeys. Um, what I also like about this is that it is a solid line stamp so that if you have a machine that scans and cuts, let's just put it that way, um, this should be able to be read very easily um, by that technology. Okay, so I'm Bananas About You, little monkey that's going to be so cute for little baby cards and just swinging by to say hi. We have this branch here where we can hang this monkey from this branch because his tail is right there and he looks like he's hanging down. So just so, 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 so cute. Can't wait to play with that. All righty. I think... That is it. Let me double check and make sure. Yes, I think that is it. So tell me, what was your favorite thing that you saw today? Um, I do not have my copy of the catalog just yet. It is on its way. I did order catalogs also. I'm just going to put these colors back out because they make me so happy. Um, I did order catalogs to send out. They are coming on um, Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember which day, but I am going to turn those around and they will be back out to you guys um, by the end of the week. So I'm already working on the little cuties, cute little things to include in there, and um, then they will be turning around. So if you have placed an order with me in the last um, 12 months, you will automatically get a brand new catalog in the mail. Or if you do not have um, a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, please reach out to me and I will be happy to send you one. Alrighty. So again, all of these new colors will be available on May the 2nd for customers. 
Again, here are our in colors over here. Our new additions to the Regals collection. Our new neutrals, new brights, and new subtles. So, thank you very much. Thanks for sticking around with me for a while today. And um, I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Passover to those celebrating. Happy Easter to those celebrating. Happy Ramadan to those celebrating. It's a big holiday weekend here. And um, there we go. So thank you for joining me today. I will be back next Saturday. And we will create something next Saturday. I just wanted to um, give you guys a little sneak peek of what's coming um, so that you know how exciting it is. If you want to get some of these products before May 2nd, you always have the option to join my team and you can add these new colors or, oh my gosh, I have to pull out this paper again, or this hysterical designer series paper in your starter kit. So if you need more information, information about that just let me know oh my gosh i you know i have to stop laughing at this the sloth doing yoga is just hysterical so anyway um i will talk to you guys next saturday until then have a great weekend let me pull out this last one. Oh my gosh that is so funny one two three four five six yep so there are all those cutie petunia animals Oh my goodness, so cute. Alrighty, thank you very much everybody. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.